Hello everybody, it's Gloria from Gigi the Crochet Queen. Welcome back to my channel. So this is a review that I'm going to do on the Big Twist Crochet Hooks. I was on my live today and Diane asked me if I had tried the hooks. Well, I didn't even know they had hooks. I tried to stay out of the stores. So I purchased the... Um, the H five millimeter hook. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that ribbing right there. And I also purchased this set. So this set has 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 5, 6, and 7. This was $14.99. And this one was... Uh, where is the price? Uh, the one hook was $4.99, but I had a 40% off coupon, so I got those, both of these, excuse me, both of these for $12.82. So I have a little skein of yarn, and we're going to drop down to see how this all works. Okay, so we're going to start with the H hook. So they have, um, I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Let's try to focus that. Hopefully that's focused. But they have it here. Or most have it here. And it is embossed, or I think, or I'm not sure how that's on there, but it's there. And the grip is okay, but let's see how it does with me crocheting. They are emulating clover, and clover is my favorite hook. Not too bad, but it's really long compared to my clover. And so, as you can see, this has about another inch on it compared to the clover hook. So that part is really long. That would take some getting used to. But it feels okay in my hand. And I thought the ribbing, I can still feel the ribbing over here, this ribbing. I don't like that. I like my um, hooks smooth. And I can feel that ribbing. I don't like it. Okay, let me take the other hook out and try it. Okay, this is the aluminum 5 um, H hook, the 5.0 millimeter H hook. And I hope you can see it. So let's try this. And I'm guessing this is to um emulate um uh, susan bates okay they're not bad i do i have to say i do like them so these will be my emergency hooks yes I do like this. Okay. So I'm going to give this uh, two balls, five balls, seven balls, whatever. I'm going to give this a definitely yes. If you like clover or Susan Bates or even furls, these are a good substitute and they are much more affordable. Definitely than Kirk. Um, furls or clover. 
and they glide real smooth like clover. That's what I love, love, love about my clovers. They glide really, the yarn glides really smooth over the hook. But this one, I don't like how long that is. And I don't like that ribbing. But if you are a textured person, that would work great for you. I don't. I like the smoothness of these. So I'll probably, these would definitely be my go-tos when I can't find my clovers in a project somewhere. I hope that you enjoyed this short review of the Joann's Big Twist Hooks. They are the one Joann that I went to. They only had a few. And I happened to look and saw these laying on a shelf. They weren't even hanging. They were just sitting on a shelf. So, again, these were $14.99. And the single hook was $4.99, but I had a 40% off coupon. So I got both of these for $12, $12 and something. So give them a try. Thank you, Diane, for uh, letting me know that they had hooks. I did not know. I know they had hooks, but I didn't know they had big twist hooks. So until my next video or my next live, Everybody stay safe, keep crocheting, and please leave me a thumbs up and definitely leave me a comment if you have these hooks, if you plan to purchase these hooks, and if you have them, how do you like them? Everybody have a good day. Have a good night, good evening, whenever you watch this, but stay safe, keep crocheting. Bye-bye.